Yeah. I had the one way, I had the one way. Yeah. This one is supposed to go this side, but he normally comes along. Hello viewers, we are back. I'm updating you about the Kampala flyover progress. So this section is Queensway section. You can see the machine trying to begin work. You saw, you see, I took this video early in the morning. It was early in the morning. So the workers are preparing to start work, maybe to start laying the road. And I told you that every two to three weeks I'll be updating you about this road construction that is going on. You know, in that period, there is a lot of construction that may have taken place. Every two to three weeks I'll be updating you. So please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share the video. You can see those are scaffolding on the flyover itself. And the ropes are there work going on soon they will be laying it and joining it to other section of the road there is a small car park where people come and board taxis and go here you can see this we are having a clear view of the road because of the road itself that is that is how it looks there's a car there towards clock tower you see clock tower comes you see this road comes from Zambia side, it joins the clock tower center there, then it continues up to Queen's Way. That's why the curve is there. It's not a straight road there. But it looks so beautiful. It's going to change the face of Kampala soon. And I think within one year, the road will be complete. The construction will be over. But early next year, so we are expecting another monument within our city of Kampala. That's Queen's Way. So this is towards I'm um, near at the clock tower set where the clock tower used to be. You know they removed the trunk, they removed it maybe after the road construction. You have another place to put it, but within that area. You can see it there. This is a very clear view of the road. It's a bit dark. The sunshine is just coming up. The workers are there trying to do some measurements. It's so nice. So nice. It looks so good. Please do subscribe to the channel. Like the video and share the video in your groups. Thank you very much. So can see workers he's trying to flag vehicle to wait vehicle so that guy controlling the cars no you know what to do this road is one of the best in Africa it's one of the best roads in Africa and it's one of its kind. Because normally we didn't have any flyover. For that, many people we didn't have any flyover road. And we didn't also have a road that has got an underpass and an overpass. It's first of its kind in Kampala here. Yeah. In all in Uganda and the whole of Uganda. I've never seen it anywhere. And we don't have it. So this is in Zambia Road, towards in Zambia Road junction. You see that is the vehicle underpass and overpass. So now I've gone to the vehicle underpass 
that's how it looks. The construction at the moment, that's how it looks. It will be taking two vehicles there. One, in the total there will be eight vehicles, by the way, because this is one side of the road. The other end, they will construct another form, another another underpass and another two vehicles to pass. At the moment, they are two here and the other section towards Djibouti, they also construct. In total, there would be like eight vehicles using the this section of the road. Other section, I don't know, they might be less, they might reduce them to maybe six, depending on the traffic where it is going, it really depend and on the availability of the land. You know, the constru I mean the road construction takes a lot of land, by the way. Yet you need, a, actually I should call it space, you need a lot of space, and in some areas towards Mukwano there, there is limited space. The good advantage, they can encroach on the other part of the road, opposite Mukwano. That's how the vehicle underpass looks at the moment, and I think there will be lights there. Of course, it has to be lit for motorists to see to have a clear view of the where they are going. It's the first of its kind of the underpass, so we should be grateful that we are having such a road. At the far end, you can see the pedestrian flyover. These are the construction going, construction going, going there near the underpass towards Chibuli Junction. That's how it looks. And see it here. This is a clear view. Those are the workers. The machine is going to blow some stone. That's how it looks there. You can clearly see Kampala City. The vehicles are using that bit of the road. And then maybe after finishing this section, they will construct this section where the vehicles are using at the moment. I don't know. Maybe they will open the other part to traffic so that they deal on this other section. The background, those are the buildings of Canberra City. They are monumental buildings. You can see, you can see the other house. There is UC, former UCP, which is in the towers. I think those are the two that I can see. That is Arena Mall. It's so impressive. It's so nice. It looks so good. Here yeah, you can have, you can see here. Yeah, we are having a clear view the construction works here. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Please do subscribe. Like the video, share the video, please. That is Chibuli Hill with the mosque, with the school, with the hospital, those who know that place. By the way, Kampala has grown. That area is having a lot of big, big buildings, by the way. Kampala now stretches as far as Nakawa up to Mubaga Road, that side, Mubaga Hill. Before it used to be very small, there is a lot of developments that are taking place. Constructing day and night. Kampala skyline is changing for the better.
So that is the pedestrian overpass there. So. They are dividing the road. Yeah. Hey, this is good. Good work. And this section of the road, they are also trying to lay the tarmac there. They are trying to divide the road there. So that that is the first process of laying tarmac there. You see there. Because the gravel is there. And I this section. Challenges. We have a clear view of the pedestrian That's how it looks like. 